Hey YouTube, this is Kentucky Wildcat Fan 78. Uh, this is part two of my Dollywood What You Need to Know. Um, now, if I say certain things in this again, I apologize. I just, I can't remember exactly what I said the first time. So, here we go. Now, first thing I forgot to mention was what they call Glacier Ridge, which is new for this year, which takes place in Timber Canyon. It goes all the way through where uh, Thunderhead is, Mystery Mine, uh, Fire Chaser Express, Tennessee Tornado, Wild Eagle, through um, most of... Uh, Uh, the area where you can buy different things, uh, and that and that's where it stops. Uh, uh, so what is going to happen is basically when you go up Timber Canyon, you will, um, go through like a giant arch of lights. Um, and then when once you get up there, they have all sorts of different sort of lights up there. They got snowflakes, they got uh, like icicle looking lights, but they're not actually, they are icicles, but they're not like the typical icicles you see. Uh, they got like polar bears. They got everything. Um, now, the next thing is food. Now, I did. I know I mentioned this uh, in the last video, but there's a few things I forgot to mention. Um, for one, you can buy all sorts of different things. The bakery in the front has a good variety, but then everywhere else will have a variety as well. Um, also, um, you will be able to get, like, hot chocolate in them as well. Uh, now, the next thing is rides. All the rides are open except, uh, the two water rides, which is, which are, um, Daredevil Falls and the Smoky Mountain River Rampage, those have been drained for the year. Those are the only two rides that are not open, but all the other rides are. Now, the roller coasters will run between 40 degrees to 34 degrees, I think, or somewhere in there, um, depending on the temperature. Uh, now, Dollywood is closed every Monday, at least in November. Uh, I'm not sure about December yet. I'm only going by the parks calendar on their website. Now, <clears throat> you can find more information on Dollywood uh, on like stuff you can bring, stuff you can't bring, uh, stuff like that. You can go to dollywood.com or if you have a smartphone. Now, I don't know if this works on the tablet, but I will try it. But you can also <clears throat> try the app page on your smart tablet, um, such as an iPad or like a Samsung Galaxy or, or, you know, nut type. Now, the next thing will be, um, weather. Now, the weather, because they are in the Smoky Mountains, the weather can get tricky. Um, so check the weather before you go. Um, now, the best way you can check it is either uh, Google. You can put in, like, Pigeon Forge weather. Or you can go to your phone's weather station and put in, like, Knoxville weather. Now, there may be one for Pigeon Forge on that. I'm not quite sure. But you can also do that as well. The next thing is... Um, the lights now the lights are lit at all times during the day um, they do have a variety of lights um, they have 
both uh, LED. Now, they're not getting as many regular lights as they normally do. But they are switching more to LEDs now. So, uh, at least more than 50 to 75% of the lights are on um, our LEDs, which is good. Um, but here is a side note to that, and this is kind of like to anybody who's there. Um, please don't mess with those lights. The Dollywood team works months upon months upon months uh, on end to make a Smoky Mountain Christmas a big success. Please don't go messing with those lights. That really affects the outcome of how it looks. Now you th may think, oh, it's just one light. Well, yes, that's true, but if you mess with that one light, that means A, half of the string could go out, or B, the whole string could go out. Um, so please don't mess with those. Uh, now, the next thing is charging your phone. Now, I realize most people out there nowadays have smartphones, and smartphones' batteries aren't the best. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm getting over something. So, the best way to do that is this. If you're in the 50 section uh, in front of Red's Diner, um... There is an expansion of Red's Diner. In front of that, you will see two Coca-Cola uh, bottle-looking things. Under that will be some plugs. Now, they do have plugs uh, for you to charge your smartphone cord into. Or if you have the cord and the uh, charger, they do have plugs for that as well. Now, if you are in Red's Diner um, facing lightning rod in front there are plugs on that table that kind of goes around um that where you can plug that into now as far as wi-fi is concerned because i know how everybody is with data nowadays um there is some wi-fi that i'm aware of now you can mostly get it around uh, lightning rod and some of Red's Diner. Now, everywhere else, it's in the park will vary, but that's typically where the strongest Wi Fi connection is. <clears throat> now, as far as the signal will be and how long it'll stay, it will vary, but you know, depending on how many people's connected to it and everything, so please um, use that with caution. Um, and last thing, because a Smoky Mountain Christmas is a family-friendly event, please do not curse or anything else. There are families with small kids in there. So, um, please just be family-friendly. Uh, follow all Dollywood rules. Uh, and just have fun.